Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, testing. Okay, perfect. So, uh, how do you want to do this? Kiefer, I want you to treat me just like any other guest. Right. I want Kiefer's questions. Exactly. And so do your fans. If you stray too far away from your formula, fans start to lose interest, and I don't want that to happen to you. So, um, what happens after the questions? Kiefer, you're always reminding us to live in the moment. So be here. Now. What's up, Disruptors? I'm Kiefer McLeod. Welcome to a very unique episode of Live Disruption. Your eyes do not deceive you. This guy is, in fact, pointing a gun at my face. It's not a joke. It's not a publicity stunt. This is real life. He broke into my house, put a gun to my head, and yeah, here we are. It's a pleasure to be here, Kiefer. My name is Rylan Crenshaw. Some of you may know me from my podcast, Grinding Towards Bethlehem. And for some of you, I may be a new face, but uh, either way, I promise you tonight will be a night you never forget. Hit the nail on the head. Uh, now, Rylan has made it perfectly clear that he wants me to treat him like a normal unarmed guest, so we're gonna get right into Kiefer's questions. You love him, I love him, Rylan sure as shit loves him, so let's go. Hey. I, I gotta take notes. I'm gonna do an interview, all right? It's Okay, okay, all right. Uh, now, Rylan Crenshaw, question number one. What was your life like before you found your true purpose? Well, Kiefer, before I found my true purpose, my life had a different purpose, and that was to get the hell out of where I was from. Now, I worked my ass off, all right? And I got into Northern Kentucky University, the first person in my family to ever attend college. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I was, uh, was halfway through a uh, communications degree when I stumbled across your channel. Kiefer, <laughs> you opened my eyes. You showed me how much of a scam higher education truly is. We don't need an institutional blessing to succeed anymore, people. No, all we need is hustle. Right on. So just like you, I dropped out. I thought to myself, if Kiefer can do it, I can do it. And I will. I know I will. That's fascinating, Ryland. Now, uh, when you dropped out of college, did you have a plan? Or were you just think You don't take me very seriously, do you? Rylan, I take, I take you really fucking seriously, okay? Okay? All right. Kiefer wants you to know where he is, so here you go. That's his address. It's his real address. This is where we are. Go ahead. Call the cops. Send in the SWAT team. Order us a fucking pizza. Kiefer, I told you to be here now. And you are trying so hard to escape the moment. What do you want? Do, do, you, do you want money? I can get you fucking money, bro. I want you to ask me the next question. Why? Ask me the next question, please. God, you already know what it is. Just answer it. Oh, God, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Hey, everyone at home, say it with me. How did you find your true purpose? Well, Kiefer, I followed your advice. Shocking. What advice was that? I started doing psychedelics. Okay, no. Now, I know, I know, psychedelics are not for everyone, okay? People with a history of mental illness should definitely, definitely steer clear. But Kiefer, for me, they changed my life. You know, when I dropped out of college, I was grinding, okay? I'm talking 80, 90 hours a week, doing every 
ride sharing app and food delivery service Silicon Valley had to offer, but I still had not found my true purpose, okay? So just like you, I started doing mushrooms. And then eventually I worked my way up to LSD. Uh, n now, for, no, for the record, I, I've never encouraged anyone to take LSD. Kiefer, my mind expanded so much more than I ever dreamed it could. All right, six months ago, get this, I embarked on what I call a vision month. That's where every morning for 30 days, I dropped acid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he showed up a couple times. He definitely did. Man, Kiefer, I can't even describe it to you. I saw everything, okay? Everything. On the morning of the final day, my true purpose, like a whale <laughs> breaching the surface of the ocean, burst forth and revealed itself. What was that true purpose? It's to do what you do. And, and what is it that you think that I do? <laughs> Kiefer, you're... You're a mentor. You're our mentor. You're, you're my mentor. I'm your mentor. Okay. I I'm gonna say this as clearly as I possibly can. Okay? I'm not your mentor. I I'm nobody's fucking mentor. Okay? You, you wanna know what I do for a living? I sell bullshit. I sell worn out, reheated bullshit to about half a million over caffeinated losers who jerk off to Shark Tank and think if they can just sleep a little bit less and grind a little bit more that they can join the billionaire pantheon and live forever on Mars. You know how impossible that is? Like you realize we are far, far closer to being homeless than we are to being Zuckerberg, right? And you wanna know why I actually dropped out of college? You saw an opportunity to sidestep traditional gatekeepers. Right on, avid listener, an opportunity. You wanna know what that opportunity was? It was my father offering me and my roommate 500 grand to start our own business. 500 grand. Okay, this negative ideation is counterproductive. This negative ideation is counterproductive. Just listen to yourself. You sound like a fucking, and I'm sorry, but is your podcast actually called Grinding Toward Bethlehem? Because fucking hell, dude. Ask me the next question. Are you high right now? When was the last time you slept? Ask me the next fucking question. Come on, once you found... Once you found your true purpose, how'd you start pursuing it? Kiefer, you often tell us that there comes a time where we have to take a leap of faith, right? Now, I meditated on that advice for weeks. I thought about all the leaps, all the risks I had taken over the years. And I realized, that's it. That's what people need. They need someone to teach them how to take risks. Risks so big that the only option is success. And that's why I created Risk Falling, a 10-week course on how to risk bigger and fall harder. A 10-week course on taking risks. That's right. Huh. Now, would one of those risks be maybe kidnapping your mentor and forcing him to interview you? You don't actually expect this to work, do you? I know this is going to work. But, but how about the legal ramifications? This is a federal crime, multiple crimes. Let's get back on track. You don't think I'm gonna press charges, do you? Why the fuck wouldn't I press charges? <clears throat> so I first got the idea for risk falling when I was driving across the Birmingham Is that bridge. gun even loaded? You wanna find out? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Because I bet you thought if you did all this with an empty gun, you wouldn't get in trouble. What are you doing? No, no, Kiefer, Kiefer, sit down. I'm warning you, sit down. No.
Okay, hey, hey, we're good. We're Sit good. down! Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're good. We're Fuck! How do you get your groceries? What? Your groceries, how do you get them? Do you have them delivered? Put your fucking mic back. We're still fucking doing this. Yeah, sometimes, sure. That's what I want. Okay. I don't want to live on Mars. I want to have my groceries delivered to me instead of being the fucker who delivers them. Do you know what that fucking shit is like? Being a fucking slave to the goddamn algorithm? Fucking, fucking tired of it, all right? <laughs> now, as I was saying, I first got the idea for risk falling when I was driving across Birmingham Bridge in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I had this urge pull over and get out of my car, climb up on the railing, and throw myself off. The screen's fine. What? The screen. You shot directly at it. There's no bullet hole. You put blanks in that. No, I didn't. No. No, Kiefer, we're not done yet. Goodbye, Ray. Understanding that Ryland helped me find myself in that moment. I had become the Kiefer I never wanted to be. And that's really what my entire encounter with Ryland taught me. It helped me evolve into this new version of myself. I wish him the best, and I hope he is getting all of the help that he needs right now. Wow. What an amazing story. The book is called Disrupted, How My Creation Nearly Killed Me, and it's available everywhere. Kiefer McCloud, thank you so much. We'll be right back after.